Sepsis just doesn't affect the lungs or kidneys. It could cloud the brain. Sepsis-associated encephalopathy presents as delirium or coma, often without structural brain injury. But diagnosing it? That's tricky. This algorithm shows how to work it up. Start with any ICU patient with altered mental status. Check for focal deficits, brainstem responses, and fever or meningeal signs. Then investigate neuroimaging, CSF, echocardiogram, and labs to rule out metabolic or infectious causes. If it's still unclear, dig deeper with EEG, ammonia, drug levels, and a hormonal workup like TSH and cortisol. Diagnoses to consider include seizures, neurotoxicity because of medications, hepatic encephalopathy, endocrine causes, and other issues. Bottom line is that not all ICU confusion is just sepsis. Dig until you find the cause or rule them out. Hat tip to the authors, what is your workup when a septic patient becomes unresponsive? Don't forget to check out the Vasopressor and Dinotropan book.